Each and every one of us experiences painful things over the course of our lives, and no one can deny that some of us experience far more than others do. Sometimes enough that it should stop a human heart, and the fact that your heart just keeps on beating just the same feels like its own source of pain. Pain can be something that just accumulates and accumulates. With too much accumulation, you become deeply unwell on an emotional level, on a mental level, and on a physical level, and you become spiritually out of alignment as well. And so it is critical to let go of the pain. And you can actually decide to do so once you are done with the pain. Let me explain the concept of being done with pain. Being done with pain isn't being done with it because you are avoidant of it. It isn't escaping, suppressing, denying, and disowning it. If this is what being done with pain was, then everyone would be done with pain the second it started because nobody wants to be in pain. Being truly done with pain means that you have acknowledged and processed it. What I mean by this is that you have looked directly at it. You've felt it. You've accepted it. You've owned it. You've learned slash grown from it. You found some personal empowerment relative to the situation that was or is causing you pain, and you've gotten to the point where enough is enough. Holding on to it is no longer serving you in any way. So it's time to let go and release it. When you hear this, some of you may feel resistance to this idea coming up within your body. There's always a good reason for this resistance. Inherent in that resistance is the very resistance that you have to letting go of your pain. Maybe it's your resistance to letting go of pain in general, or maybe it's your resistance to letting go of your pain relative to something very specific that you're currently struggling with, or that you have struggled with. You can't and should not bulldoze through that resistance. Instead, you should face and resolve that resistance directly. The best way to do this is to work directly with the part of you that is in resistance to letting go of your pain. You can do this with parts work. To learn how to do parts work, you can watch my video titled What is Parts Work and How to Do It. Your goal here is to question this part and to let this part of you that is in resistance to letting go of the pain express as much as it wants and seek to understand it as deeply as possible. You want to get its full truth. Within its truth is the key to what needs to be resolved or what it's going to take for you to let go of the pain that you are carrying. There are so many reasons why someone would be in resistance to letting go of the pain they are carrying with them. Here are just some examples. We may feel like if we let go of the pain that we are carrying, we're letting somebody else or other people off the hook. And like other people are not going to get how much they hurt us. And if we do that, we may feel like they're never going to change and so they're going to hurt us again. We can't live with the idea that people can just get away with the things they do to damage or destroy others, especially if that's us. Another example, we may feel like letting go of pain or moving forward as a result of doing so is a form of self-betrayal. Or we may feel like holding on to pain is a form of staying connected with or staying true to someone or something that we love, and therefore feel like we are betraying them or are leaving them behind or are losing them even more by letting go of pain. We might feel like pain is the only thing that is real and that we can count on, so we may use it to keep ourselves safe and stabilize ourselves. We may use it to prevent ourselves from getting our hopes up in a situation where we feel as if our hopes are only going to be dashed. To understand this more in depth, you can watch my video titled, Building Walls to Keep Pain In. We may be holding on to the pain because being in pain in some way enables us to get a need met that we feel we can't get met any other way. We may be holding on to the pain because we've not yet learned how to avoid that same kind of pain from repeating and repeating in the future, and we feel like holding on to that pain is going to help us prevent the re-experiencing of it. We may be holding on to the pain because we feel we need something very specific to be able to move forward and to get over something, and we haven't yet experienced that specific thing. We may be holding on to the pain as a motivating force and be afraid that without the pain, we will lack the energy necessary to accomplish something important to us. Or we may be holding on to the pain because we need to make a difficult change and we fear we won't make that change without the pain being there. We may be holding on to the pain because we don't trust ourselves not to do something again, unless we have that constant reminder of the pain. We may be holding on to pain because it is the only thing that makes us feel like we are good. 
In other words, this pain might be something we use as almost like a form of self-punishment that we're convinced is keeping us good and is keeping us right. We may be holding on to our pain because we're using it as a kind of substitute boundary against something that is a no for us. What I want you to understand is that this list could go on and on and on and on and on. When it seems like you or someone else won't let go of pain or something that you judge as painful, this could be like a behavior or a strategy or a belief, it's because that person believes that regarding the situation they're in, they will be in more pain without it. To understand more about this, you can watch my video titled, People Are Not Attached to Their Pain. Acquaint yourself with your specific resistance to letting go of whatever pain you're carrying and see if you can resolve that resistance. Pain serves a very important purpose. To learn about this, you would really benefit by watching my video titled The Meaning of Pain. It is critical to understand the meaning of pain rather than stay in this primitive black and white mentality that pain is all bad. But let's turn our attention back to letting go of pain. Provided that you have acknowledged and processed your pain, you can decide to let the pain go. So for the sake of awareness, I want you to ask yourself this question. What is it gonna take for me to let go of the pain and stop carrying it inside of me as I move forward in life? You can pause this video and sit with this question as well as whatever answer arises in response to it for as long as you want. A little known truth is that you can choose with your free will to dump pain or to release it from your being. It can be compared to the way that you can choose with your free will to relax your muscles. It's an absolute guarantee that you've seen somebody do this in your lifetime, but seeing as how I can't just tooth fairy myself into your living room and show you an image of specifically when that happened in your life experience, I'll give you a couple of movie references. In the movie Forrest Gump, in a very dramatic ocean scene, Lieutenant Dan faces his pain relative to God for the way that his life went. Once he's done that, we see him let go of his pain completely. He isn't stuck on it, and it isn't stuck inside him anymore. And in the movie Love Actually, pretending to be a carol singer, the character Mark declares his love for Juliet, knowing that what he needs to move forward past the pain is to be able to tell the truth. He realizes it's time to be done with the pain of not being able to have her because she's married to his best friend. And so he decides right then and there to let go of the pain. It benefits a lot of people to do a meditation or visualization specifically of letting go of the pain when they decide to do this. In case you're interested, I actually have one of these meditations in my meditation vault. It also helps some people to perform a ritual around letting go of the pain. Now remember, this is pain in general, or it might be pain relative to something very specific. When a person truly lets go of the pain they're carrying, they do not forget about the pain they felt. They don't forget about what happened. What is very different is that they aren't carrying it anymore. They don't feel traumatized anymore. They've changed their minds and their lives in response to it, using the pain to become more and to become better. They feel open, open to different and new experiences, to starting fresh. There's a lack of tension in them. There's an empowerment you can feel. And most especially, there is a letting in of positive things. There is such a thing as a readiness to let go of the pain that you're carrying. That readiness is about acknowledging and processing your pain. And that readiness is about the specific contents of your resistance to letting go of the pain. Most people are ready to let go of their pain when they have hit a dead end regarding the processing of their pain and a dead end relative to how much they can extract from their pain. And they have resolved their resistance to letting go of their pain. Because we've made pain bad and wrong, <laughs> and because we don't wanna be in pain and we don't wanna see other people in pain, once we know that it's possible to let go of pain, we run the risk of expecting people to just do this and then shaming them for it when they don't, telling them that they're attached to their pain. The reality is that working through our pain and helping somebody to work through their pain is a far faster way of getting to the point where we or someone else are ready to let go of our pain. But sometimes you're at a dead end regarding your pain because the only next step there is to consciously decide that enough is enough. To decide it's time to stop carrying it with you. Time to leave it behind you. Time to release it from yourself. Time to give its energy over to the universe to recycle. Time to let it go. Have a good week. If you liked this video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and consider sharing this video with your friends. 
You can also click on the bell icon to be notified of the next time that I post a video. I want to thank you personally for the bravery that you have to step into awareness. I'll see you in the next video.